My name is Genevieve Johnson. I'm a senior lecturer in the School of Education. My name is Tanya Broadley and I'm the online education developer in the Curtin Business School. One of the challenges for teaching and learning in higher education is really engaging students in the face-to-face -face context. So we were looking at how we might use a flexible delivery method in our teaching and learning to be able to really engage the students in a positive way. So the principle behind this was to promote student questioning and we wanted to take the concepts in the large lecture theatres um, where Purdue University were using Hot Seat and try to apply that in a smaller tutorial context. So originally we looked at the Hot Seat application which we were wanting to um, use in the project. It was not really ready for rollout in terms of the teaching semester. So we had to rethink the technology that we were going to use to be able to engage the students. We needed to uh, stick with what we had promised students in as much as we still had to assign marks for questions and answers. We thought that the best tool for that would be Blackboard discussion and so that for each class we opened a discussion room and we required students to post questions on the relevant material for that week and also then to go in subsequently and post responses. Because the unit outline had limited the responses to 1000 characters, which was the hot seat limit, we stuck with that limit, so one good paragraph for their responses. We, we also required that they post and answer these questions each week. There's a, a growing body of research that students actually asking and answering questions themselves rather than the teacher generating the questions and the student generating the answers um, is, can be highly effective in terms of facilitating uh, student learning. In, in research, particularly this kind of applied action research, often the, um, the application evolves to some extent as the um, project unfolds. And given that we were using Blackboard and our goal was student engagement ultimately, we decided that frequent assessment may be a part of a very valuable uh, way to use technology to engage students. So ultimately, the unit was structured so that there were 30 assessment points in a semester, 10 uh, online quizzes that were automatically marked, 10 required student questions, and 10 required student responses. So that in some ways, we're now, we were now looking at not just the questions and answers, although that was a very important part of the unit, but also the online quizzes. The support that the students need, needed initially was um, some of them had not used the online quiz tool, so there was some anxiety surrounding that and indeed there were some challenges with that. What worked best is the degree to which the students were forced to be actively engaged every week throughout the, throughout the semester. A pattern that first year students can fall into would be only engaging with the learning material prior to examinations and perhaps prior to uh, assessments or assignments being due. And given so many assessment points every week, the students were really forced to actively engage in the material. The two lecturers involved in the investigation kept uh, professional reflective journals and it wasn't always a simple task. That is, while the students might have been very happy, the lecturers did complain about the excessive amount of marking. Marking the questions and the answers every week was very, very difficult uh, for the lecturers. And, and one of the things that could change and perhaps should change in the future is that it might be that the number of questions and answers could be reduced. One strategy might be to have students one week a group of students would ask the questions and a, and these and a different group of students would answer the questions and then the following week that order would change and by doing that it would cut the students engagement in half but it would also cut the uh, marking in half as well. In terms of the, the question and answering um, of approach to student learning 
Um, it's something certainly that other lecturers may look at implementing um, and not necessarily using it as a form of assessment but certainly using it as um, an impetus for students to engage with the content and also to um, be uh, required to really engage with um, reflection of themselves and other students learning. Thank <music> you.